Hello, not here. Welcome back to Path of Exile, Atlas of Worlds, Essence League Edition. Today we're gonna run a Azana map. Learn anything new? While you're here, I've got a favor to ask of you. Follow me, and I'll fill you in on the details. Let's see what she has for us this time. Still sane, Exile. Darkness looms on the horizon, and we need to stop it. Let's get ready to work. I'm trying to enlist the help of one of our friends, but it seems one favor demands another. If you can go and help me help them, then I can in turn help you. By the way, this map is particularly dangerous, which means I need to limit access both in and out. You'll only get one shot at this, I'm afraid. Don't make any mistakes. Interesting. Single mission, so there's no need for portals or anything. Also means we won't be focusing too much on loot this time. But rather, we're just gonna stay alive. The farmer no longer plows or sows. Only the flattened soil remains. Ah, the peninsula. This is a, a tier 5 map that is actually slated for playing pretty soon because uh let's see where is it it's over here so i'm gonna get to this pretty soon so we have to find the other master and do their quest let's see patches of desecrated ground uh, inhabited by the undead and area contains a torah so we will be hunting diseased sickly animals or clear out a den of sorts so this area, it does suit Tora. It's a, a bit of a outdoorish, wildlife-ish area. Multiple necromancers, Ooh, a fractured one. We'll give you uh, your proper righteous fire support over here. Same for you. There you go. Burn. Let's go for a little bit of a shockwaving here to just uh, keep the mobs together. No, not quite behaving the way they ought to. Okay, why don't you want to be picked up? Yeah, I was on the wrong side of the barrel. But those necromancers do make it slightly tricky to deal with stuff because they keep just summoning stuff behind the lines so you continuously have to go back and kill things there's an arena here over here that's not early but let's go in and see what does this offer us uh, I think if we stay back a little bit, we actually have an opportunity to kill some of the uh, golems. Because once the boss wakes up, the golems are going to be immortal. I will leave this... Yeah, I remember this correctly. Titan of the Grove. So curse it. Put them all together. And... Okay, he ran away, so we could kill his mobs. That's uh, that's fine with me. Okay, oh, and he summoned them again. So, yeah, almost helped. And that was that. So, especially with this build, now we, we do manage to pull the aggro rather well. So in that case, it's just a matter of just staying out of the reach of the boss itself. And just whittling it down. Especially on, on this particular map, which doesn't really have any uh, gameplay changing modifiers. Well, the uh, patches of desecrated ground with their continuous chaos damage might be very annoying if you have a, uh, a build that has a lot of energy shields and not a lot of life because you're preferring to go CI, for example. Then you might experience this as rather painful. For our sake though, we're high on life, have a decent amount of regen, so we can just shrug off the chaos damage. 
despite having negative 40 chaos resists. Uh, okay. Maybe we should deal with you, then at least there won't be more mobs to deal with. Okay, so just shockwave totem for the minions, righteous fire for the boss. Or for, not for the boss, uh, just necromancers, not proper bosses. Oh, ghost possessed. Thugs touch. Let's deal with this guy as well. Good, good. Yeah, I have to remember we can't actually get out of this map because we only have one single portal. Upside is we didn't find a Torah inside of a Torah map that of no not a Zana inside of a Zana map, that would be annoying. Torah is doable, mostly just killing a couple of uh, animals. Now I'm hoping she's gonna spawn next to a lair or something, those are always the easiest to run. Couldn't be annoying if we find her after doing most of the map and then have to backtrack again to find all the uh, diseased animals because they will spawn later on okay. bit of an inner area here but we also had a bit of an outer area so yeah we're already overflowing with items so let's put this one in the corner here and then we'll just ignore all the other items that drop Unless they are unique or currency, stuff like that. With all the yellows. Too bad to be a yellow today. That's a lot of spark mages. I was I caught myself trying to flee towards the wall, but with spark mages you gotta watch out. The sparks reflect off of the wall, so it's better to flee out into the field rather than towards the wall. And with our fire beam, we can just kill the skeletons. Over here, exile. And there is Tora. Hello. Kill the mobs in the den. Okay, we can do that. Essence. That's a lot of fun. Uh, tier four, wailing essence of zeal. Well, let's just unleash our army of the damned make it a bit more equal, fair, fun. Just insert bird here. We got our essence. And we get another one. That's pretty cool. So the pointer towards Tora is because of the entire map objective. Tora is our objective has nothing to do with Tora's objective. For that we still have to look towards where our circle thingy is pointing. And yes, I'm calling it a circle thingy. It's very specific. Let's see, tier one, Whispering Essence of Contempt. Followed the Stormblood, but that uh, was okay. That has the downside of spawning next to a rare if you have very high DPS things like Righteous Fire Totem. There is the option of killing something without really seeing what it is. And Storm Bloods, Ice Bloods, Fire Bloods, those kinds of things, they tend to be uh, stuff you usually don't want to have next to you when they explode. Mostly just continuing to clear the map rather than really focusing on the Tora objective because hey, it is a map, might as well do it, right? So, so a lot of stuff going on here, a lot of sparks running around. I think we're dealing with it pretty well. And I remember Spark Mage just being more painful than this, actually. And level up. It's been a while. 
So we're slowly just continuing our sign life wheel in order to pump up our life even further. And we have 31 mobs remaining, which are most likely in the inner section of this area that we haven't yet explored. So we did trace pretty well around the outsides. Maybe one or two skeletons got resurrected. But other than that, I think we got most of them. Okay, interesting. I spy with my eye a ghost that refuses to die. And that is that poetic. Yo, we burned to a crisp. Destiny letter, and we don't have space to pick it up. It was destined. Can't make any more lame puns about that. So just tracing outlines of the lake, and indeed there is a little bit more space here for some mobs. Huh, a bit. 18 remaining. Another pack of skellies. Further reduces their numbers. And a desecrated lair with more mobs around it. Three mobs. Okay. Do they happen to be around here? Currents. Nope. Okay. Then we go in and it's lucky to be those three, I guess. They will survive. Simply level 70 area, no modifiers. And they are suicide beetles. So I'll just uh put some totems in and holy moly. Is the frame rate police having a field day here? Shockwave is definitely just throwing them in here. And the final one. Push. Hey. A lot of stuff dropped. I don't think we really have space. No. We could make a little bit of space for the buckler. That's gonna work. Okay. And then we speak with Tora and then... The Zana is going to be happy, and then we are done. And it seems like we might as well just run them back via the beginning, just to complete our circle once more. Tracking back to the boss or to the master is always the least good bit about a map run. Ooh, look! You are now dead and there are the other two we did do a full clear the vermin uh, might have the strength of corruption on their side nice nice final one to get to tier five ray class survival is a race against time a race i think we can win optimist bizarre the more we uncover the more questions are raised I think we need to consider establishing some sort of base of operations. Look for me once you're back on familiar soil. I've got a proposal for you. Okay. So, I think she made a remark about that earlier as well. She keeps pushing you to get a hideout from her rather than from someone else. I don't presume to know your motivations for helping me. Honestly, it doesn't even matter, since if you didn't, there's a good chance we'd be wiped off the face of the continent. But I'm glad you're here anyway. But well, I have too many masters here, so we're gonna pass. And the good thing is, she leveled up to level 4. That's 1% more quality on all the maps we put in the map device. But also, new maps to shop for. So I'll be all going over that and Stay see what I can get. But for now, I'm gonna thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.